Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. This video is made possible by the very kind donations of viewers like you. Thank you. If you are in a position to help this channel improve quality and grow, please visit my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. It is the 31st century, and mankind is once again at war. The battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines known as battle mechs. Alright, first up, I have the Star League Command Lance Pack. Four mechs. The artwork that we're kind of used to at this point. Inside, we have a painted Orion. And we have a Phoenix Hawk Special. An Atlas II, which is one of the things that really had me buy this. And a Thunderhawk. Um, of course, I know the most about the Orion and the Phoenix Hawk. The Atlas II... I think somebody played one against me, and I played one in one of my videos. Uh, it was uh, it was Starcore versus uh, Ameris Empire, I think. Um, but I just used a regular Atlas Mini, so I'm happy to have an Atlas II now. Big fan of uh, the Star League era, and it's always nice to have those. And then the Thunderhawk is an older mech uh, from post-3050 uh, time frame. Not overly familiar with it, but I do know that it is a popular mech and people enjoy it. Uh, of course, it has uh, Alpha Strike cards and piloting cards. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look. seal here. Alright, we got our cards here. Our Mech Warrior cards. Like I said, I've never really actually played Alpha Strike. One of these days I, I really need to, but I want to find somebody that actually understands this game. It's hard enough to play by yourself, let alone let alone learn the rules by yourself. So, but uh, let's pull the minis out and take a look. We got a nice background in there. The light's not catching it all that well. Let me let me try something. I'll be right back. All right. Let's try this. There we go. That's getting it in there a little better. Beautiful artwork of the Orion. I believe this is from uh, the, uh, what is it, Siege of Terra? It's, uh, I think it's the artwork from the source book. And this is... Kerensky kicking open the palace at the very end. Don't quote me on that, but it is beautiful artwork of the Orion. They do a really good job with these lance packs, making them look beautiful. We got them in here. And uh, different weapon options. Alternative gun here. I think that's for the Phoenix Hawk. But let's go ahead and pull out the Thunderhawk first since it is the one I am least familiar with. As with all Catalyst stuff from the redesigns, it has beautiful detail on it. Looking forward to throwing this down on the tabletop trying it out for myself. A 
Next up we have the Phoenix Hawk here. It's okay. I'm not a huge fan of the Phoenix Hawk redesign. They did an okay job with it. It's just the classic unseen Phoenix Hawk will always own my heart. Lots of detail on it. Love the engine pods. Next up, an Atlas II. Gotta love that auto cannon on there, that big heavy rotary auto cannon. I'm not sure that the Atlas II should really be a thing. It doesn't look that much different from the original Atlas to be its own thing, like it should just be a variant of the standard Atlas. But, you know, not my decision. And it does look beautiful. Let's take a look at that painted Orion Secure it in there with one of these twisty ties. Let's undo that go. Let's get in there and try to get a lot of this detail on there. Very good job painting this. I wish I could paint that well. <laughs> I like that the uh, the barrels have different colors. Got some blue here while you know the missiles are kind of black in there and the auto cannon is black. red cockpit, cockpit lens. AK-01 or 01AK Alexander Kerensky. Beautiful, beautiful mech. I'm not sure if people are going to like these pre-painted minis or if they'd rather paint them themselves, but it is a good option for people, you know, I have some friends that just don't want to paint minis. You know, they want to look at this more as a board game if they're going to play at all, and this would be an excellent option for them to just, you know, if they, especially if they start putting out a lot of these different pre-painted minis, to just grab some of them and throw them on the tabletop. Let's line them up here. And then the little extra gun in there for customization. That's kind of cool to include little things like that because one of the big selling points of the metal minis that I was always told was being able to cut them up and redo them, use a little green stuff on them or, you know, whatever, and, and customize them a little more. So giving that option with, you know, pre made, pre assembled plastic minis is awesome. Uh, great little set here. Maybe a little overpriced in my opinion, but, you know, half of these mechs you can use at any time. Orion pretty much always available. Phoenix Hawk always available. Atlas II, a little era, era specific. You know, end of the Star League, clan era, golden era, you know, clan... Brian, Cash's. 
later on once they started rebuilding them for the inner sphere so kind of a for me is mostly an inner sphere player a, a big run of time when the atlas 2 wasn't available and then the thunderhawk like i said definitely the one that i'm least familiar with but i have heard over and over that it's a fan favorite from people so it's good for this to be available all right i got one more thing to show you and give my thoughts on now before i show this just know originally i was not planning to buy it but i went ahead and did anyway sort of against my better judgment but i have here the urban mech lamb now <laughs> <laughs> the Irby can be controversial enough, let alone a lamb, which lambs have their own controversy. And now combining the two to have an urban mech lamb. Uh, yeah. I have my own opinions on lambs, which we'll go over at some point. I'm actually... A fan of lambs but not for the reason most people would think uh, I won't get into that now that's its own video but uh, let's open this up and take a look at what's inside We have our card here, and Mech Warrior, man this thing looks weird. Pull it out here, oh, 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 didn't, was not secure in there. Maybe some twisty ties or tape would have been in order there. As you can see, this is the first time I've opened this on camera. And something fell on the floor, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, uh, the artwork, a little disappointed in. It's just kind of a generic, futuristic, cloudy cityscape. Um, looks almost like it could be ripped straight out of the Battletech PC game. Hmm. Not bad, but not the best either. Inside, looks like we get the Urban Mech Lamb with his wings folded up there, his autocannon. Lots of detail on it as usual. I like how it's almost exactly an urban mech. There's not a lot on this that would tell you that it's a lamb, which is sort of the way lambs are supposed to be in my opinion. Next, we have the lamb in aero mech mode. The in-between with its wings deployed. We have the clouds. Jump jet exhaust. From it flying. And finally, it in what I'm assuming is supposed to be its Aerotech configuration. Still lots of good detail on it, but not what I would have envisioned. Still, I never would have envisioned an urban mech lamb. So, sure, why not? <laughs> Love that completely blunt front end there. Like... <laughs> Aerodynamics they were not caring about. Now, I did have some lamb miniatures of my own. Um, sadly, those are long gone. 
I've gone through box after box looking for them. There was a big case that had all or almost all of my clan stuff in it and my lambs and a few other odds and ends along with stuff I was going to repair and that plastic box is just gone. I have no idea. I've been looking for it for years. Otherwise, I would show you this thing next to my old Phoenix Hawk lamb, wasp lamb, and stinger lamb. Uh, I didn't have the word of Blake lambs. So let's kind of put this thing together and see how they all look. Going to uh, install his clear peg and my inner middle schooler is going to try very hard not to make any very obvious jokes here. There we are flying above the battlefield. Let's see if we can get this put together. Got the smoke coming out of his taking flight here. And peg on. There we go. And there he is in aero mech mode and got them all together here. This I will say for what we're getting is very very overpriced. This is essentially a very expensive gag gift. Uh, lambs are let's face it never played on the tabletop for good reason. I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Um, but to put these things down for their price, I would definitely not buy another one. But I just, for some reason, felt compelled to, so I bought it. This is going to go on a shelf. You know, I've got several Urban Mechs. I've got the Lance uh, of Urban Mechs coming from my... Uh, I included it since I missed out on them when they came out. So there'll be a pile of Urban Mechs for me to play with. I won't need the illegal urban mech lamb, and I'm not sure I would want to field an urban mech lamb, even if I was fielding lambs. So, yeah, uh, I would definitely give this a pass. Its quality is good, but just for one mech that you're never going to use, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. They needed to tape these in so we didn't almost lose the clear peg when we opened it. I like the idea of lambs and look forward to that upcoming video where I'm going to talk about them in much more detail. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for giving me a chance to show these off and give my opinion of them. Leave your opinion below. What did you think of the Starly Command Lance? Tell me all your stories about the Thunderhawk. Uh, what do you think about this Urban Mac Lamb? There have been accusations out there that this has just been a quick cr cash grab. Don't know if that's what this was or if this was a big elaborate, you know, gag gift you could give people. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. And as always, I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come. Hello, future me here. So, as you can see, I've dragged out the uh, Urban Mech lamb, lamb again, and I have a good reason for that. You see, over the weekend, I uh, was over at a friend's house, and I got some good news. I had lent him some games and some Battletech stuff back when I moved to Michigan. He played the game a few times, Eh, not really that big of a fan, but you know what? Not everybody's perfect. He gave me everything back when I moved back to Michigan, but as when I moved back from Michigan, but as it turns out, he forgot a box. And well, my clan stuff was in there, and one of my repair boxes was in there, 
which had some lambs in it. So let's compare this to the old lambs that we came out uh, in the 90s, I guess. These are very old, so I'm not exactly sure when I picked these up or when they were made. Certainly for me, it would have been in the mid to late 90s, probably from a yard sale or that shop at the flea market I used to go to that sold used gaming stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look. As you can see here, We've got the Urban Mech, the Urban Mech in Aero Mech mode, and then the Urban Mech in its Aerotech configuration. Here, we have a Stinger. So, yeah, looks pretty good. You know, uh, Stinger is quite a bit lighter than the uh, Urban Mech, so it being a little chunkier kind of makes sense uh, urban mech is supposedly notoriously short so you know the stinger i think should be just a little bit taller but otherwise pretty good as you can see this is a real good metal version of the stinger here next up we have the urban mech in Aeromech mode. And here we have the Stinger in Aeromech mode. Now the detail on my Stinger isn't the best. And it's clearly made from a different metal, so I have no idea. I know some of those early mechs were made differently, but I mean... I don't know. I have no clue. Anyway, but that is what it looks like. Here you can see a little bit more of a difference. In Aeromech mode, it's quite a bit tubbier. And its wings work completely different. In Aeromech mode, just like the old artwork, the Stinger Lamb is straight up out of Robotech, whereas the Urban Mech Lamb definitely looks more Battletech-y. I like them both. I think they both appeal to me. If I was forced with a gun to my head to choose one of the two, I've got to go with the older one. It just looks sleek and cooler, but it does just kind of clash with the Battletech dirty, everything kind of falling apart aesthetic. Mm, I can see both ones being appealing. Finally, we have the Urban Mech in its Aerotech configuration for flight. This is where things get really different. Um, they didn't really make a Stinger Lamb in flight mode. This is just a regular Stinger. Conceivably, you know, they, they didn't make one for each configuration. They just made a Stinger, a Stinger Lamb. And then this is the top portion of that Stinger Lamb. It originally came in two pieces. In fact, you can see... If it'll focus here for me, you can see in there that uh, at one point this was put together. And the uh, super glue has broken off in there really old yellow super glue anyway um but this is what me and other people used when it was in aero mech mode just or uh, in aerotech mode just this sometimes with a post in it on a hex base like that or literally just sitting on the the battle map sometimes directly onto a uh hex base uh Honestly, I have not done a whole lot with the Aerotech rules. We usually just house ruled it that anything in Aerotech, anything fighters, bombers, anything that was airborne that didn't move like a combat vehicle, like a VTOL or something, just flew in every couple of rounds, shot and flew away. And 
that was pretty much it. Most of the time, we didn't even play with error tech stuff at all. And that's kind of the way that I still do it because honestly, I never learned the old rules very well and I've never really learned, learned the new error tech rules. So one of these days, I want to have an expert in error tech sit down and play a game with me and really get this under my belt. But anyway, that's what she looks like on her own. And uh, pulling the urban mech off of its base here. Uh, you can really tell the size difference here with this being, you know, really half a mech. Um, it really stands out. But here you go. Uh, my Phoenix Hawk lamb and my Wasp lamb are still missing. Uh, I have no idea what happened to them. Maybe they'll show up in another box that's in someone's closet that I forgot I lent out to them at some point. Anyway, joyous news, more mechs, more fun. I will be doing a video to show off what was in those boxes that I found. It won't be a very long video because back in the day I had hardly any clan mechs at all and I have basically enough to form a star, maybe a star and a half, something like that, and then what was in my old repair box. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I am planning a video with my thoughts on the lamb itself, so keep in touch for that. Let me know below what you think of the old lamb models, how they compare to I guess our one and only real modern lamb model. What you think of lambs in general. And of course, I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come. Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. Thank you for watching my content. It really means a lot that you have given me the chance to entertain you. If you would like to support the channel, please visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. Also below is a link for PayPal, or links if you would like to send crypto, if that's more your thing. Please know any amount that you give will be cherished and used to upgrade equipment and improve the channel. You can also help the channel by subscribing, turning on notifications, liking, commenting, and sharing my channel with anyone you think might be interested. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come.